to friends and family, not to mention the Facebook fans. Uh, this is uh, Ken Cusey. It is 7-Eleven. Got a little bit later start to work today, probably because, I don't know, because I can. Because I always get to work really early. I'm that person that believes if I'm not early, I'm late. So I really enjoy getting to work early, so that way there's no stress if there's an accident or flat tire or something else that occurs on my way to work, I can be sure to be there on time. That's a very important lesson that we can all learn because I'll tell you what, there are, there are people at every job that you've ever worked at that are either late, calling in sick, leaving early, always got something going on. We've got a couple where I work. And you know what? I think that short term, they might get away with it, but long term, it'll either affect their ability to get promoted or they may not work there forever. But that's, that's just my rant on that. So once again, passing by the University of Phoenix Stadium, beautiful facility where they play football. It's like 70, 80,000 capacity, really pretty building. And then of course I can see Gila River Arena where they play hockey. And uh, so what I'm doing is I'm heading to work, heading north on the 101. <clears throat> Got a little frog in my throat still. I don't know if it's allergies or a cold. And what kind of stinks is I talk to a lot of people on the phone all day long. And because of that, because I talk to people on the phone all day long, I don't get to rest my voice at all. So Monday through Friday, I'm talking to merchants in Canada. And uh, Saturday and Sunday, I'm probably not talking as much, but I can't go without talking, you know. So today's plan, well today, gonna go to work from 8 to 4.30. Then, gotta go pay a bill. Uh, my Kohl's charge bill is due today. Uh, normally I set it up for my bank account, but for whatever reason, I forgot to do it and it takes too long. So I'll physically go into the store today and make my payment. Uh, what else am I going to do today? Yeah, still still thinking about different photo projects and video projects. I watched a video this morning uh, about a gimbal. A gimbal is a device that you hold in your hand that keeps your camera steady even if you're bouncing around or moving. So no matter what you do, uh, as you move, the camera stays in perfect shape. Now I'm sure this is high-tech stuff and it uses balances, weights, counterweights, uh, I don't know if it has a, if it's smart where it has an electronic component to it or if it's just physics where someone's really worked out uh, levers and gauges and uh, weights and uh, different pulleys and such, if that's how it works. But I'm assuming it's really expensive type equipment, so I will not be buying that. So if you ever see one of my handheld videos, uh, it's because I don't have a gimbal that there might be some shake or some rattle or some roll. Yeah, I think there's a song, Shake, Rattle, Roll. I think even you two did a cover of that, um, or Rattle and Hum. Anyway, uh, on to the next topic. So, as I was saying yesterday, the balloons, the balloons are uh, normally up in the morning, but today I don't see them, and there was, like I said yesterday, a weather advisory for asthma and allergy sufferers. sufferers. And when I looked off in the distance, when I look at the mountains, now, we, oh, there's some balloons up there. Anyway, when I look out into the mountains, I see some haze. So that poor air quality is definitely a factor. And what's interesting is I'm driving on my way to work today, traffic seems a little bit lighter, so I think some people took that advisory to heart. So people with unnecessary travel might not be driving now. This is the easier part of my commute. When I start heading east on the 101, that's where the traffic starts. And now that I say that, when I look up ahead of me, I do see the normal traffic and cars slowing down. So maybe, uh, maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> Don't you hate that when you jinx yourself? Oh, yeah, things are going... Oh, no, I guess they're not. Anyway, so what does anyone else say? You know, feel free, by the way, to comment with ideas for photo or video shoots or things you want me to try or do. Uh, today, like I said, I'm going to go to Kohl's. I might have to buy a couple groceries. I cooked last night on the grill. I made some pork chops. And people say, well, what'd you make with them? Did you put... Yeah, I don't... I'm not like a three- or four-course person. I made the pork chops, and then I did have some pineapple. Uh, they had a deal at, we have a couple different grocery store chains here. The biggest one is Fry's and then Safeway would probably be the second largest. We've got Costco uh, and a couple other chains. Uh, AJ's Fine Food, which is a high-end grocery store. We've got Trader Joe's. Uh, I think I said Costco. Uh, Walmart obviously has groceries. Uh, oh, and there's also Bash's. Bash's is a family-owned grocery store. Uh, but, but Fry's is probably my, Fry's and Safeway are my two biggest and then I guess Walmart. I used to have a Costco membership, but I canceled it. But anyway, uh, they had the special at Safeway where you get three pre-cut fruits. So I got watermelon and I got pineapple. And I did this a couple weeks ago too, uh, where I bought 
you know, these pre-cut watermelon and cantaloupe and uh, pineapple. And what I found is the cantaloupe, I don't think, is in season out here. This is a desert, and I think every bit of our produce is brought in from uh, other countries or other states or from frozen stock. And so the cantaloupe was very mediocre. So this time I bought two watermelons and one uh, pineapple. And the pineapple is fantastic, but it's way too sweet to eat too much of it. So I ate most of the watermelon on day one of the one package, because uh, it was only a small package, but it was so tasty. So last night with my pork chop, I had a couple slices of the uh, pineapple, and it was fantastic. If anyone's wondering if they should eat pineapple every day, the answer is yes. I don't know what it is. Pineapple's like, I used to like oranges or grapes, but I think pineapple has now moved to the top list of my favorite fruits. I don't know. It's just so tasty. I guess maybe it was more exotic at one point because as kids, we always had apples. We had oranges. We didn't get pineapple that much. But, you know, that's a tropical fruit. And I don't know back in the 60s and 70s if that were that was even available to the level that it's available today with the improvement in logistics. I mean, think about it. You know, when, when I was a kid growing up, we had pizza, but we never had wings. We never had bagels. We never had Chinese food. It wasn't until I got to college that I ever had a bagel, that I ever had chicken wings, that I ever had Chinese food. Uh, you know, and I lived in a, you know, a, a nice community. I mean, my Facebook, Facebook friends know. I mean, Webster, New York, great, great place to grow up. Uh, you know, Xerox was a big employer there, and then you could also work at Kodak or Bausch & Lomb. Now all those companies are pretty much gone, but, uh, you know, but a great place to, to grow up in the 60s and 70s. Uh, things have changed. It's beautiful now. It's a more mature town. You know, they're still building some housing, but I think a lot of it's been built. I don't know how much more they're building there. But a great place to live and very conservative. You know, we didn't, have, you know, we had a drive in up until the late 70s or maybe early 80s. We had a drive in. And I remember going there, or even as a kid in the car with mom and dad, we'd drive by it. We'd take a look, what movie is that? What movie is that playing? You know, it was really cool. And then they got rid of that and they put a theater there um, back in the 80s. And uh, that theater's still there. Now, that theater, and by the way, has those really cool seats where they, you push a button and it stretches, it goes out, it reclines and so on and so forth. And, and in fact, when I was in Rochester last time, uh, my daughter and I went and saw the last Hunger Games movie. And during the first five minutes, I was asleep. Brittany says, Dad, are you sleeping? Oh, no, no, no. Because I think that Hunger Games movie was good, but the first couple of minutes, it was really slow. And I think it was trying to catch people up from the previous episodes. Uh, but all in all, decent movie. Uh, Hunger Games, and I do know, uh, speaking of movies, there's another movie coming out that I'm really kind of excited and anticipating, and that's the Star Wars uh, spin-off called Rogue or Rogue One. I think it's a story about how they stole the plans for the Death Star, so I think it's kind of clever. I like the idea that Disney isn't just waiting every 20 years to release a new Star Wars. They're going to have these spin-offs. So people that are fans of... Uh, those movies get the opportunity to see some interest, maybe some story development of behind the scenes, and we've got different input from different creators, not just the original Star Wars people, but different creators getting input and some ideas, and I like that, because again, I like Star Wars, and then shortly coming out is a, a new Star Trek movie that looks pretty good. Uh, you know, I, as a kid, I remember too, speaking of which, we didn't have cable for a number of years, until like 80 or 81 in Webster, and... So I had a TV in my room, a black and white TV. My mom and dad were great to provide that to me. And I used to watch the original Star Trek show in black and white and in my room. And it was a good show. Uh, I know they have these conventions and these trickies and these people that dress up and everything. That isn't me, obviously. But uh, I kind of enjoyed the show. And William Shatner, phenomenal. A phenomenal actor. <laughs> Not. But he was great for that role. He, you know, he's got... He, he, he did some things afterward that are, you know, he, he's he's an iconic actor. He's got a certain way about him. Certain actors can play certain roles, the same role over and over again, no matter what what they do. And he was one of those guys. And if you'll notice, my uh, my mute on my radio keeps unmuting. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's because I'm hooked by Bluetooth. Maybe it's because there's a 
a text coming in because my Bluetooth can show me a text on my screen or read it to me sort of badly. But anyway, that's my thoughts for Wednesday, April 20th. And again, weather advisory here for poor air quality. They advise, and as I, now this is the, this is interesting, as I'm making the turn to head east on 101, normally it's smooth sailing for another minute or so while I'm hitting traffic here. So, so much for my idea of, oh, the traffic isn't bad today. And I, I think part of it is because I left about five minutes later today too. Uh, but again, I get to work, you know, half hour early every day. So today I'll only be 15 minutes early or 20 minutes early, what do you do? But anyway, have a great day. I'll talk to you guys soon. Happy YouTubing and happy Facebook.